Mower Medic 1. Today we've got a snapper commercial push mower on the bench and it's got the little 123 cubic inch or 12 cubic inch uh, Briggs and Stratton engine 5 horsepower series and uh, I believe the model number is a 123 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's a 124.707, and uh, what's happened is it's uh, been starved for oil. It's got a very interesting gas tank set up on this particular machine. And uh, the customer, uh, he let me know that this was not factory, and I totally agreed. But that's the way he's been running it for a couple of years, he said. So, hey, if it works, it works. He had the gas tank just uh, zip tied to the, uh, the shroud there. I went ahead and took the liberty of removing the spark plug wire, and I flipped it up on its side, and I spun the blade by hand and it has no resistance to the compression cycle. So what we're going to do, we're gonna put the mower up on the bench. All right, let's go ahead and remove the blade, the blade adapter, and the engine pulley. As you can tell, this is just the square drive pulley and the crank is rusted pretty good so it may take a little bit to get this off but to get this pulley off what we're going to have to do remove the blade hub first and then we're going to remove the set screw I'm going to drive the pulley towards the engine if I can and then we're going to de-rust and descale the crankshaft to be able to get that pulley on off I've got my two jawed puller set up in this fashion here I uh, got the, one of the arms on each side of the square shoulder and basically just put your crank bolt back in there about four threads, four or five threads and you should have enough bolt left over to uh, facilitate pushing this on off or pulling this on off rather and this puller just uses a 7 8 inch uh, wrench so let's go ahead and get it pulled off Remove the set screw out of the pulley, and I will caution you, sometimes at the assembly line, they put a set screw in, tighten that down, and then they put a set screw on top of that set screw. I don't, some of them did that on these, and I don't know if that was their lock screw, but this, and these are on there pretty tight too, so. You might need to use a little bit of heat. I don't want to break my tool off in there just like that. See? Can't believe I just did that. How embarrassing is that crap? But anyway, if you'll get you a magnet nine times out of ten, you can extract that piece of uh, broken off tool. Yep, she came right out, thank goodness. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing heated up. What you wanna do is remove the belt first so you don't ruin that. So let's go ahead and slip the belt off and then we'll apply some heat to the set screw. And then once it's hot, I'm going to uh, douse it and quench it with some uh, lubricating oil. with the penetrating oil. Try not to cause a fire. 
let that soak in there just for a minute. Guys, it's being a little bugger. I got into my good tools. I got my snap on one out. I was using the Napa bits. And as you can tell, inferior tools aren't worth it. So, I ain't going to break off my snap on one. So what we're going to do, I'm going to get my air hammer and we're going to come alongside the crankshaft right here and we're going to brrr, we're going to tap around where this set screw goes down in to help break up that rust. Okay, so the theory behind this is what we're going to do is here is the the screw. We're just going to kind of tap around the screw. You don't want to gouge into the crankshaft, you just want to be level. And let's just give it a couple of good... And I'm not doing this full blast, I'm just barely pulling the trigger, because you don't want to damage uh, the crankshaft and you don't want to damage the, uh, the crank journals in the block. You could actually uh, do some damage if you're not careful. There she went, you hear it? I didn't put much force on it either. Boy, she is dry coming out of that hole even after I've doused it with penetrating oil. This is some of the things that you run into when working on small engines. And the customer just, they don't understand why you charged them an hour or 30 minutes to an hour just to remove a pulley. Well. Here's proof in the pudding right here. But it's always a good idea to shoot your estimates a little higher. So we've got the, the screw out, finally. So now let's work on getting this off, the pulley. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to move the pulley towards the engine just, you know, a, a fraction of an inch just to break the rust free. I was able to move it quite a bit. So I'm going to take some crocus cloth and I'm going to clean this crank up and we should be able to get that off of there pretty easy. Just going to take some 120 grit. should be good so I'm gonna go ahead and douse that again with my penetrating oil and then I'm going to get my puller set up once again all right guys moment of truth Make sure you're not going to damage your crankshaft. Your puller, a good, all the good pullers have a ball bearing in the end of the shaft there. 
And I just wanted to make sure I wasn't going to damage anything, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it on, pull it on off. So there's hardly anything left to do to remove the engine. There's just three bolts, one, two, and one up here. Uh, they're threaded into the block. You might have one that has a nut on the other side. So if you need help holding the nut on the other side, you can get somebody to help you, but I think we can do it. I've got all my wires disconnected. I've got the charge wire for the battery disconnected, the cables disconnected. So everything's disconnected. All we have to do now is uh, remove the bolts, the attaching bolts for the engine and should come right off of here. Go ahead and zip your two bottom bolts out. Alright, we got the motor off. I've got it turned upside down on the bench. I'm just going to give it a quick little blow off. All right, let's go ahead and zip all these sump bolts off here. Just three eighths. All right, a good tap point here is one right here and there's a, a good solid lug right here and as you pick up on the sump with your hand you're just gonna just pop right out as we can tell we don't have a broken connecting rod, I don't think. Let's go ahead and remove the bowler shroud. And let's go ahead and remove the cylinder head. I do believe we're going to find our no compression issue on this side of the engine. the carbon build up. Look how thick that is. This engine has been using some oil. I would also want to show you, see how nice and shiny this is right here where this uh, head gasket mates and seals and follow it around to uh, the exhaust guide or the exhaust valve and see how discolored that is. This gasket was blown right here in the corner as you can tell. All the exhaust gases were blowing between the head and the gasket. We have got some deep, super deep scoring on the uh, cylinder wall here. As you can tell. Get a flashlight so we can see better. Substantial scoring all the way around. This thing's gotten hot and starved for oil.
as much damage as we have to this cylinder wall, uh, this it's just not going to be worth even trying to punch out and honing and or doing any kind of machine work to it. It's just an aluminum bore engine. If it was a steel liner engine, the commercial engine, it might be feasible, but this cool bore engine is just not going to uh, cut the mustard, in my opinion. Just all the way around. So, no compression issue. Is blown head gasket, cylinder rings, or piston rings are wore completely out. Valves are burnt. Yeah, she's done. It just there ain't no more life left in it. By the time you hone that out, I don't even think uh, an oversized set of piston rings and piston would be worth even attempting to try to fix this old mower. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to repower this mower with the uh, the Predator motor from Harbor Freight. And uh, we've got a solid frame. Transmission super good. All the uh, height adjusters and wheel bearings and the, the bearings in the, uh, the drive disc and all that's good. Everything's complete. So let's just do it that way and I'll show and uh, on the next video we'll get this uh, Predator motor installed and we'll see how she turns out. Alrighty guys, we got the little Briggs engine torn down. It's just not bueno, no good. So uh, like I said, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Hey, if this helped you out, uh, getting that pulley off and whatnot, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, while you're over there, click that bell and uh, click all. That way you'll get all my new videos. But anyway, y'all have a good rest of y'all's day. And I will catch you guys on the next one. More Medic One.